All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Harbor Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. <clears throat> and um, this is just a quick land back to the spirit. Um, as you see, the uh, elder, not the Zagba, down in South Carolina, <clears throat> he made a statement. Okay, and he says, you know, that we are the Israelites, right? And we ain't about to be begging Esau and asking him, can we please be the Israelites? No, we are the Israelites, man. Okay, we know through, we know because of faith, or we know through faith, okay, a prophecy, you know, and we're doing exactly what the real Israelites will be doing, okay? The real men of the Lord, the prophets, will be teaching. All right, let's get a quick scripture. Let's get a Deuteronomy 30, right? Verse 1, it says what? And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee, right? And we were all scattered, okay? The Israelites were scattered through the four corners of the earth, all through the four winds, okay? And what are we calling, calling to mind, right? The blessing and the curses, okay? Among where? Among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. And we are doing that, okay? The Israelites are the only people that are doing that, okay? Those fake Jews ain't doing that. Why? Because they're not the Israelites. They are, they are imposters, you see? So there's things that the Israelites will be doing, okay? Um, let's go to the book of Jude 1 verse 5. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance... Though you once knew this, knew what? The truth. You see? So we are being reawakened. All right? When you read about uh, the dry bones, okay? We are those, we were those dry bones that's being woken back up. You see? Standing upon our feet. It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, what people? The Israelites. Afterward, destroyed them that believed not you see so the lord has been has, is reawakening us deep through the spirit okay um matter of fact let's get this scripture scriptures is all coming to mind let's go to the book of uh baruch okay the book of baruch believe chapter five i mean chapter five yep here we go the book of Baruch 5 verse 5 it says arise O Jerusalem you see arise O Jerusalem and stand on high and look about toward the east and behold thy children gather from the west into the east by the word of the Holy One rejoicing in what rejoicing in the remembrance of the most high you see and that's what we are doing we're giving all praises honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh See, all praises, honor, and glory goes to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. You see? But we are rejoicing in the remembrance. You see? Reawakened. You see? To know our true powers. Man. Eh? You see? Call upon our true power, man. You see? The Lord has reawakened us. The Lord has given us back uh, our heritage. The Lord has given us back uh, his holy name, uh, which we are proclaiming all throughout the earth. You see? We are doing that. The Israelites, man. Okay? And we're going to continue to proclaim this word until the, until the end of this thing. You see? Verse 6, it says, For they departed from thee on foot and were led away of their enemies, but the Most High bringeth them unto, unto thee, exalted with glory, as children of the kingdom. You see? And what does the scripture say? Say, the, the saints shall take the kingdom. You see? We ain't asking for that shit. Right? You think Yahweh Shah is going to ask you, you, you nations, to get down? No. He's just going to lay you down. He's not going to ask you, hey, can I have your crown? No, he's going to take the crown. Because why? He's the king of kings, lords of lords. Lord of lords. You see? I'm going to get this precept because uh, I actually spoke on it roughly. The book of Isaiah 62. 
Isaiah 62, verse 6. What does it say? I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silent. You see? So we ain't going to keep silence. You see? We're going to continue uh, uh, to mention Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. We ain't never going to hold our peace. Right? And as watchmen, what are we doing? We're, we're, we're sitting upon a watchtower. Okay? And we're watching out for what's to come. You see? As men of the Lord, as servants of the prophets, what do you do as a watchman? You see, you see something about to go down, right? You see something approaching, what do you do? You warn the people, you see? And that's what we are doing. We are warning the people of what's to come, right? Whether you take heed or not, we're still doing our job. Verse 7, it says, and give him no rest. Didn't I just say that before I brought, get, got this? We ain't giving the Lord no rest. And give, give him no rest till he establish, till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. You see? And that's how, that's what I said. That's why I said what I said. You see? We're going to keep praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says, and give him no rest to establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Because Jer Jerusalem is not a praise in the earth right now, man. Jerusalem is still being called by these different nations, uh, Proverbs, uh, Bywords, or, and Proverbs and Bywords. Okay? We're still being reproached. Okay? We're not a praise in the earth, but guess what? We will be made a praise in the earth very soon. You see, we will be a praise in the earth. We will be looked at, at as, as that nation uh, of the most highest people again. You see, I mean, we still are, but the nations don't look at us as such. You see, they don't look at us as such, but very soon they will. You see, as we as we tell them, as we tell them on the highways and byways. You know, that we're the chosen people. We're the Lord's people. The Lord's dealing with us. He's going to deliver his people out of the circumstances that we're in. You see? But they don't believe that. But it doesn't matter, though, because guess what? All we got to do is believe it. You see? And watch it uh, uh, become their reality. You see? Let's get, a, let's get a, one more. We can close out. I want to make this too long through the spirit. Wisdom of Solomon 5 verse 1. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account, uh, no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strange, strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall they say with themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision, in a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life for madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of the Most High? And his lot is among the saints. And this is what they're going to be saying. You see, how these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, how, how are they the people of the Most High? How, how are they the saints that the Bible is speaking of? Speaking of? You see, and they're going to be amazed at the strangeness uh, of our salvation, man. You see, by those chariots, man. You see, those chariots that's going to come back, come back and, and, and beam up the elect. You see. But hey, like I was saying, man, Jerusalem is going to be made a praise in the earth very soon, man. You see, these nations are going to see and they're going to know that we are the children of the most high. Okay. So that's just the point. I just wanted to, you know, uh. You know, really, uh, just all through the spirit, just a, a few words uh, as the brother sparked my spirit to do, to do this lesson, you know, that we ain't asking Esau, we ain't asking Esau, can we be the Israelites? No, we are the Israelites. Lord, I hope this lesson was edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.